So we're going to look at how to create an ocean scene like this in Blender and this is done using the EV renderer so it's going to be quick. So we'll stop this and go to Blender and delete the light. We'll select the box and add an ocean modifier. Alright, so if you animate the time, the ocean animates. So you do hashtag frame slash 30. We're going to get some nice smooth movement for the ocean. Now the ocean is kind of big, so we'll make it small. Okay, 0.5. So now we have smaller ocean and the waves are moving. Now the waves can become big and you can increase the choppiness and then you can even increase the detail on the waves okay so we get kind of big waves and this seems too much maybe less. okay so we'll put up the camera now the camera seems okay move it down Go to zero and view camera to view, move it down, move it up, move it down. Okay, and then play it to make sure that the camera is not going through. So I'll move it up a little. Okay, so the camera looks good. Oh, by the way, you can select the camera and change this to 35 so more of the ocean can be seen. Alright. Now, if you want more of the ocean, top view, duplicate it and move it. And you can see that it aligns properly. Make sure that the number is perfect. And then you can duplicate this and make it 25 in apply also. So the same motion multiplies multiple times. So the horizon line goes further away from the camera. So our camera is here. So the camera should actually be pointing this direction okay so this is how the camera looks and you have big waves and stuff all right so this looks good okay now the f the objects that are away don't have to have more details so even if you have seven you would have depth of field and stuff like that and it's going to be a dark environment so we save on memory because this is going to consume memory all right so now texture map for the ocean we are going to use a dark greenish blue color go to shading okay so we have principal bsdf here shift a search another principal bsdf we want to mix this shift a mix shader there is mix converter and mix shader we need mix color is also there so we need mix shader because we are mixing two shaders okay so two shaders are mixed one is blue one is white Okay, the transmission for our water is 1, roughness is 0. Okay. Now, if you select this, we turn on foam and we type a, num a letter here. I will use F for foam and this will be the waves and these are the ocean. This is the foam. So shift A attribute 
and the factor is going to be the attribute so factor is going to be factored in here and we just type the f here and you will see that we have factor goes in factor this goes in shader one okay so we have the waves we have the foam and the foam can be controlled we need to now have less of white if you want so shift a color ramp okay so you can have less more of white and then if you move this it will only be on the top okay so you can control these and then you can even change the color of this if you want it a little bluish whatever okay this is only actually going to use the color of it so if you want bluish waves then you add the color here okay so no roughness transmission and all so now we got our waves go to layout go to zero hit the play button we have the ocean now we will add the sky so we go to ev render and if you go to edit preferences search for sky and turn on dynamic sky okay so you get create and dynamic sky create then you go to world and from world you go to dynamic and now you get dynamic sky okay so sky color what color do we want for the sky blue dark blue cloud color you can make bluish clouds also horizon color blue dark very dark Uh, color cloud opacity cloud density how many clouds do we want okay soft what is hard sun value Brightness, 